So this is going to be a quick walkthrough on our Entune Audio Plus system. So right now we're on the home screen and this is just a defaulted home screen. Right now we have our audio on one side and you can have up to four speed dials on the other. Under menu, this is just your main menu. So we have the audio first. On here you will see the sources, AM, FM, Sirius XM, USB and Bluetooth. So with Sirius XM, right now you have a 90 day trial. After that, they will get in touch with you and see if you'd like to continue with it. Once you decide what you wanna to listen to, so for example, we're gonna go on FM. To save a station, you're just gonna to tune to the station that you want to listen to. So from here, to save it, you're just gonna hold the number you wanna save it as until it beeps as so. You can have up to 36 of these saved and you can also mix and match with AM, FM, and Sirius XM. Another way that you can search for a station is that you have the station list. This allows you to search by genre, so depending on what you like to listen to, it shows you what's available within your area and it does update if you're traveling. So this is our audio. Going back to the menu, we have the phone and this displays your keypad so if you need to dial a number under history that normally displays all of your incoming or outgoing calls favorites you can have up to 15 of those saved in here and then contacts would just display your contacts select device just allows you to switch devices just by the list here and then message is a way that you're able to have your text messages displayed on here if you want to have that set up. Going back onto your menu, we have the apps here. So if your vehicle is equipped with a remote connect, this is where you would enter the authorization code. You would also receive notifications from Toyota as well as access the Wi-Fi, which is just a hotspot for your vehicle. So if your vehicle is equipped with a remote connect, you also have the option under infotainment to do your Amazon Alexa and connect it to your vehicle. Now going back to the menu, we have the projection button which basically mirrors your phone through Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Under info, this is split up into two parts. So we have the eco and on here right now we're under the trip information so this will just display your average speed, the elapsed time, and what you have until empty tank. This little chart on the side right here is just showing you the miles per gallon and on the bottom it's 15 minutes that the vehicle was running. You can always clear it out if you need to. The history portion here is just giving you your best miles per gallon, the latest, and then it shows the miles per gallon. With all of your different trips on here, you would just have to update to view those, or you can clear it out whenever you need to. Energy, since this is a hybrid model, is gonna give you this little chart. So it's just gonna show you what motor is working as well as the hybrid battery recharging. From here, we're gonna go under menu, and again to the info, and we have vehicle alert history. So on here is just a way to view any sort of alerts your vehicle has to give you, such as maintenance required or anything like that. So as you're receiving your alerts, you can always go in and erase those as well. I'm going to return once more, go back onto menu, and the last one we have on here is setup. And this is just where to view all of your general settings as well as setting up Bluetooth or audio or anything like that. On the menu as well, you have the display. And this is just a way that if you don't like to have the screen off, you're able to turn that off and it's just dark like that. To turn it back on, you just press any of the side buttons. You also have the ability to have day mode on. So if your lights come on at night, it's just gonna stay bright and not go dim. And then to adjust the brightness, if the display is too bright at night, you just go into the general and then do the brightness and the contrast if you need to do that as well as when you turn on your backup camera, it adjusts that as well. And then some of the buttons we have on the side here are just shortcuts to what we have on the menu screen. So as you can see, we have the audio, we also have the button. The map is just an easy way to access your navigation apps if you have the Apple CarPlay or your Android Auto. Seek and Track are for the radio, so Seek takes you to the next available station, Track takes you to the previous available station, Phone just takes you to the phone, and then Apps takes you to the apps. And that is our walkthrough on the Entune Audio Plus.